Hi guys, I'm ExactCaz and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. Um, this is the Chaos, uh, what is it called? What is it called? I can't, I can never remember it. Chaos Air Inc. Uh, airport and, uh, <laughs> and we are finally, I think, going to switch over to a new, more robust, um, more efficient um, check-in operation over here. So if we have a look at our flight planner, um, there are only a couple more flights to go to um, clear all of these. Um, and one thing we do need to remember um, in clearing these is that we probably need an extra stand that's kind of always semi-available for emergencies. We need to remember that. Let's quickly pop into R&D and see what is currently underway. Large aircraft permits are underway. Medium fuel depots are underway. Uh, and structural engineering is underway. Ooh. Can we go upstairs without that? I do not know. Um, anyway, we can speed things up a little bit. So I think what, what I want us to do is put security upstairs um, and lead that to the gates. Plus, we'll do some drop downs um, over here. Um, and then effectively, um, anybody exiting will exit and do baggage claim in this area. So that's what we'll that's what we'll do. So we'll kind of um, remove all of this once we've got all the flights out of the way and we'll go upstairs and do, and do the rest of that. So I, I'm not going to I'm not going to activate this now with some flights still available. I'm not going to do that. Uh, what we can, however, do is probably um, get something like that in place. Um, we can go and grab ourselves some information displays. Um, I do like the idea of having it right there. We'll have some information displays like this. We'll do a back-to-back -back one over there as well, so someone from the other side can have a look. I can I can throw in some I can throw in some seating potentially over here. Uh, probably just just some of this stuff. I think. So if we do maybe a little bit of seating um, like this, just as a starting point, we'll do a little bit of that and see how that goes. We probably need some bathrooms over here. Um, I wanted to do, yeah, maybe some big bathrooms in this location here, and then we'll do some shops next to it sometime in the near future. Now, what are happening? I can, I can speed things up a little bit so we can get these flights out of the way, and then we can move on. So we just need to get rid of all of these flights. We will continue to allow general aviation to run because that's going to give us a fair bit of money uh, or at least make the money flow um, while we while we do all of this. <clears throat> uh, we're just over the two million and it's going to cost us a fair bit to build a, uh, some of this stuff. Yeah, I'll need to have a look at exactly where uh, we're going to transition upstairs into security. There won't be many things in here, right? Potentially, what we can do in the future is do a little bit of a remote stand situation over here. That's maybe not the end of the world if we do a remote stand here. So that's something I can think about a little bit. Uh, but it's not something we're going to do straight away. So let's get uh, all of this out of the way. Uh, speed it up even more. Get these guys out of the way and then we'll start clearing out this um, to get our baggage claim in here and we'll with security and so on upstairs. I think that's the exactly the plan. Checking downstairs, I think, works um, because the, the I think one of the key issues will be for us is that check-in kind of does... Um, I, I don't know if you can assign check-in to one... Oh, you can, to one terminal or another. So uh, potentially we can sort that out. Okay, large aircraft permit has been um, done. So we could probably do... When do oh we need to hire a strategy director? We'll do that as soon as we've done um, as soon as we've done our new staff room. That staff room will have to go, and we'll need to change that. So let's get extended commercial license, which gives us subway permit and a variety of other things, including automation. Actually, so let's go and grab extended um, extended ones, and we'll get, I think we've got eight available to go and run that at full speed. Good. That that's good. That's good. Let's uh, let's start with that. We do need a <coughs> excuse me. We do need a, a larger um, air, air traffic controller. I want to get these. Even I would like to maintain general aviation, but we'd like to make sure that that is um, properly surfaced in the future. 
all of this is still kind of doing its trick. There's no massive queuing um, around here. I wouldn't mind um, making this a little bit nicer in the front here. As soon as we redo this situation here, we can we can do that. <clears throat> Now, um, with regards to, ooh, what's that? Oh, that's just the large, the large ones. With regards to, I just wanted to have a quick look. With regards to baggage claim, right? So if I wanted to do a baggage claim area, will it allow it here? Uh, okay, will it allow it there? It will. So I think I'm gonna do baggage claim before we um, exit. That's gonna be the plan. So that, Potentially, no, I think you will have to exit. But anyway, so that potentially we can we can do some stuff here. I, I think there's something a little interesting that we can do here. Okay, go back to R&D. I think our flights are out now, right? Medium fuel depots are done. Um, should we do fuel tanks, proactive maintenance? Probably proactive maintenance. Let's grab proactive maintenance and make sure we, we, run, we run proper proactive maintenance. Okay, I think all the flights are out. Yes, all the flights are out, so I can go ahead and demolish a lot of this stuff. So what I will do is, uh, and we will need to continue to keep an exit location here. I'll do that. We'll clear out all of this stuff. Um, I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to get rid of these guys. Let's clear out all of that this and that and that and that okay all good um i will have to clear out all of uh do i have to do i have to what is this there's someone stuck there no no problems okay so that, let's pause it while i quickly think about this so now i've cleared that out so what i can do is we can certainly we can try and actually maintain a little bit of this okay so what I would like us to do is go and grab our additional flooring. Um, if we do something like this, right? Seems pretty reasonable to me. Okay. And I'll just have to go and grab our secure zone and extend it like that. Okay, and I'll also extend it over here and probably over there. Okay, and then we'll just do a few extra exits there. Security exit there, there, and th oh, there's one there already. Um, of course, there's one there already. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of seating in here for people to wait um, for their kind of loved ones. I think I think that's going to be sufficient, and then what we'll also do is we'll just provide us um, we'll just provide a little bit of this stuff here. We'll do that. Okay, we'll get ourselves a bin. We'll get a couple of plants. Yeah, I think I think that's mm, that's about right. Give me a plant. Give us a quickly. What can we do here in terms of plants? I think something like that over there maybe yeah that's that's not bad that's not bad that looks looks pretty decent uh we will probably need a little bit of um information so a question is do we do the information display i think something like this is probably okay yeah that, that i think that'll work all in all that'll work now, what I want to do is provide us with walls instead of the, the standard stuff here. So if I wall this up like so, so that's basically the exit door, right? We wall that up through there. People can get out this way. Um, and then, then they can get to the exit there. That's okay. It's slightly strange. Now, what I would like to do in this area here actually do the baggage claim so i'll do a little baggage claim here and a little baggage claim there and that can kind of be the end of it so let's get ourselves some baggage claim facilities i don't want to be too crazy with it did i actually clone i think i've got 
save a template, copy, paste, do I, so drag, select an object. Do I have templates somewhere, right? I thought, I thought there was templates. Toggle planning mode, save a template, drag it, select it. Uh, copy and paste mode, hold shift, copy and paste it. Let's just copy and paste mode. So where, do I have templates somewhere? If I go over here, with the templates, I can't remember how the templates actually worked. Paintbrush, no, no, heat maps. I can't remember how the templates worked. The templates anywhere down here? Can't remember, can't remember. Templates in here somewhere? No, I think these are only settings. Okay, well anyway, I'm not gonna bother with that. We'll just do our own stuff here now. You will need, um, so if we go baggage handling area, Let's go in that, well, let's start with a small one over here. And what I thought I'd do is I'll do that. Ah, but ultimately, you know what? Ultimately, I would like to do, potentially do this as, um, as, as, as a remote stand, actually. So let's start, let's just start with something over here shall we can, we can actually squeeze in two of them over here so if we do one like that and we'll do one like this yeah that gives us two equal sized baggage claim areas with some room for seating all the way around okay let's uh, let's start with that now what i'll do is i will run so i've been doing funny shapes and things like that for quite a while now the question is we don't necessarily need to do the funny shape do we um we could make this much smaller actually let's just make it much smaller i'm just thinking about it now can i um delete that room please and delete this one yeah and what we'll do is we'll make it a fair bit smaller so let's just make it a little a lot smaller so let's just do Uh, will that work? Uh, no, we need at least five, I think. Something like this, and it can go longer as well. So let's do that, and five, and longer. There we go, that's what we're gonna do, and it's gonna be very basic. We're just gonna run up like that, down like that. There we go, carousel one, and We'll run exactly the same thing over here as carousel two. It's not right, that's what we wanted to do. And uh, we do need to um, bring this up from downstairs. So something like that and something like uh, that. Okay, there we go. So that'll give us upstairs. Um, so this is going to be our baggage carousels. I can do a slightly different flooring in this location just so that it's, it's fairly evident that it is, in fact, um, fairly evident, I would like. So light concrete, marble. So we marble. We're going to do dark color. Let's do a light color marble and see how that works. It's going to probably look fairly weird. Okay, so that's it. Um, let's grab ourselves some seating in this area. So if we do small seating, I'm happy to do stuff like this. Okay, and we'll we'll see. I might uh, actually, to be honest, let's let's get rid of that one. And what we can do is we probably can run some seating on the other side, so we can trim we can trim this wall in, and then we can uh, can go upstairs from there. Okay, with uh, with the security situation. Okay, so that'll work. Now let's bring our <clears throat> let's bring our uh, our our um, our uh, baggage over here. So let's go with the super duper quick quick baggage. We'll run that down here. Well, wow, that's ninety thousand, and we'll do it up to there. And there we go. There we go, and this will be a tilt tray. Okay, and that tilt tray to destination, please. I believe that should be all good. So now we can tilt it out to the various um, baggage claim areas over here. I think that'll work. There's bathrooms here. This whole setup looks pretty good. We could maintain 
this, but I'm a little worried um, in that this won't have access to, uh, it will be very difficult for people to access this um, as it stands. Well, we should fix it though. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to remove part of it. So I think what I want to do is run the wall, save a little bit of room and run the wall somewhere like that. Okay, and in this case, we'll also run it straight through there. So what I'll do is I'll start getting, oops, that's not what I wanted to get rid of. So I'll get rid of all of that. Get all of these people out of the way. Um, okay, let's clear this out. Uh, unpause it for a second there and so the interesting thing is I do want to clear this out and then do go upstairs from here. So that, that's kind of going to be the setup. I don't think we're going to need more than that. So I will do more seating along here. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty good. In terms of seating, people waiting for their bags. That looks pretty decent. This side we can still use for something else and people can walk directly out of there. You don't actually have to come and clog up this area if you're if you're interested in going out directly. Uh, but you've got bathrooms over here. You've got some stuff. That, that's all pretty good. I do like I, I like that setup a fair bit. Um, so what I will do is let's um, quickly run that through there. Um, and at the same time, I will clear this out and I'll remove the secure zone. Um, there and I will also have to delete that and probably put in a new a section of new staff room there and that could change into a shop or something in the future so let's just do a new staff room like so so there's at least a staff room available there these guys will have to kind of make their way around okay so that's that's going to be um, that kind of sets that up I do need to get this built quickly um, so if I go and say, guys, uh, build all of that for us. Service road. Oh, there we go. Working. Working. Now, we need to connect this to certain things, all these kind of stuff. So that should be up and running and working straight away. So now what we need to do is go upstairs. These guys are struggling to get... Oh, well, they can't get in there because it's uh, this, there's no no appropriate area yet. So let's quickly just clear out. I'm just going to go with our light. Yeah, that's dark concrete. If we go with light concrete, I think that's the one. It's just light concrete this up. So it's, um, it's all cleared out for us. Oh no, it's not even that. So what kind of concrete are we supposed to be using here? What? It's obviously not marble. What was it? Anyway, I'm not gonna. Obviously, what we'll need to. Uh, something's weird here. I'm not sure what 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 we're using there. Um, anyway, don't don't worry about it. It's not it's not a big deal. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go upstairs. And so from here, we will need to do some escalators, potentially some elevators. So let's do an elevator must be placed underneath terminal so we will need to terminal this up first so if we're gonna go wow that's pricey there we go but that's kind of what we're gonna do and i think i think the appropriate one for us to do is get the elevator and place that somewhere like this yeah, I think that's that's exactly right. So elevated there. If we go upstairs, oh, that is beautiful. That is absolutely perfect. We could actually even do two of them. Let's do two of them for good measure. Um, it's pretty pricey though, so let's just keep an eye on our costs now. It'll uh, close those in so it looks a little bit better. Um, and then what we'll need to do is provide ourselves with place underneath terminal. Okay, so. Uh, that is not ideal, is it? 
contrast into different zones, all these kind of things. Oh man. Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll find the right spot for it. And let me go with medium stairs at the same time. Yeah, so we'll need to do a little section where we're just going to build it out a little bit at the top here. Unfortunately, so let's just do like that. And see if that kind of covers it all for us. So with that in mind, try that one more time. Okay, that is working. Let's quickly have a look at this small stairs. Yeah, I think I'll just do small stairs over here. So we'll do two rounds of small stairs plus uh, plus an escalator. Yeah, I think that's that's going to be okay. What I will do, however, is um, is close it up with some wall here, just so we don't have any any funny business going on here. So we'll do a little bit of that. There we go. Oh, crap. Where's this guy? Anyway, we'll leave it as that. We'll, we'll fix it in the future. Now, from here, we need to do security into... And you know what? We don't need to do... We don't need to go nuts. We can drop them um, down here again. We just need to figure out the most appropriate way for it to, to do that. Now, what we'll need to do is we'll need a bit of a secure um, zone to basically start uh, something like this, I think. We'll do all of that as secure zone. Um, at the same time, we will be doing a couple of the larger security guys. I think the large ones are okay. Or do we go with the smaller ones? Well, I think if we do a couple of the large ones, it's going to be okay. So if we do... This is the middle, right? So if we do two of them into the middle like that, that should be all good. Uh, we could then run ourselves some wall through there and through there. And so from here, we should be able to do some some queuing. So let's um, let's add ourselves a little bit of a queue here. Okay, so we'll do a little something like that. We'll do a very similar setup over here. Something like that. There we go. That's all good. We'll get ourselves a couple of plants just to make it look a little nicer. So if we do that, grab a plant there and a plant there. Um, and get ourselves a bit of a bin. Potentially there. Actually, let's uh, let's put the bin right there. So it's kind of uh, cleaning it up a little bit. Oh, and we can do another plant, of course. So that, that will be pretty good. Let's just add another plant in that location there, there, and there. Awesome. We don't have bathrooms up here. We need more security personnel. We need to drop this down um, on this side. So, oh, did we, did that guy run? Okay, that guy ran. So we can now put the, the small stairs in there again. So let's do that, clean that all up. So that looks pretty nice. So people can get up and down pretty easily, I would hope. What we'll do to kind of make it a little look a little nicer is we'll just hedge it up here. We'll do that. So we'll kind of do a bit of a hedge in there. So it just looks um, looks a little nicer like so. Uh, we could even we could even extend that a little bit. Let's let's do that. Extend that a little bit, and then there's room for some stuff over here. We could potentially do small bathrooms um, on both sides here. That wouldn't be too bad. That would not be too bad if we wanted to do that. Uh, what I'll do is I will do fill that with edges so we get a little bit of green in the airport at the same time. So we'll do a little bit of that. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, there we go. So that's um, accessibility to a security area. And now from here, we need to drop it down. I'm thinking in this location right here is probably about the right spot for it. Um, 
Yeah, so we'll just we'll just do a bit of a drop down. Mm. We'll have to see how that works actually. Let's let's grab ourselves um an escalator. So we could do an escalator there, uh, which is not gonna be it's not gonna be that bad, to be honest. That is not gonna be too bad. Alternatively, we could do it. Something like this, and then we could also do, yeah, well, let's, let's do that. Yeah, that's not the end of the world. That, that, looks, too, that looks okay. And then at the same time, what we can do is we can try a, a lift here. Uh, probably like that instead. Yeah, so unfortunately, it's going to, it's going to the, it's kind of going to the wrong side. Um, but that's, that's using the space a little bit better here, isn't it? Oh, unless we do it this way, of course. I think that could work as well. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. Then it's going to kind of split things up a little bit. Let's do that. It's not the super cleanest idea, but it's, it's kind of okay. So now there is at least a lift option plus some escalator options here. I'll just try and close that off a little bit like... Well, we probably don't need to do that. That's going to be all good. We go upstairs and here we will need to kind of close that off a little bit. Well, we'll see. It looks a little funny for me at the moment. We'll, we'll leave it as is. That, that's going to kind of do the trick. So now at least I can get here. So now we can actually start running things again. Things should be able to work. Um, as is, oh, as soon as we um, we do some of this, that's a lot there. Let's uh, let's build out this one and build out one at a time. Basically, is this built? That's that's done. That's already built, so that's all good. So now that's done. Um, I need I need better better stuff. What are you trying to do? Oh, we we can't get through security because we need more security personnel. So let's. Um, Let's go ahead and staff up those security people. So go buy security. Oh, and um, I had a comment suggesting that I should reject the poor performer so that they, uh, do we get better ones in here? So let's hire that one. So let's go ahead and reject some of the, um, some of the really bad ones. Yeah, let's just do that and see if we get someone a little bit better. Um, I could also do with a few more service agents. Um, let's go nuts and reject. All of these guys, um, I'll go ahead and hire that one. And then we'll go back to the security officers. So still nothing. Oh, you're still paused. We need a few more security officers. Uh, that's a good one. Hire that one, start it away. I don't know how many I need actually. How many do I need here? Jobs available, another five please. So that one, reject here, reject there. Can one of these open? Ah, oh, that's a good one. Well, what I can do is I can just close off one of them and they'll just work on the one. Yeah, that's all good. There we go. So now everything should work. We've get our staff through there. Straight away, getting to where you want to go. Um, I believe that should be okay. We probably have a slightly larger area here than we need. Bathrooms are running. This is a little bit too small at the moment, but I think that's going to be all good. So we can continue and kind of sort out the rest of this. Uh, what I can do here is put a bit of seating in there for my for my people. So let's go and grab a couple of these guys. There we go. So some more seating is now available. Yeah, that's very small, really very small. I need I need more staff rooms. And the idea could be that we do staff rooms all over the show. Really. Now this guy I will need to um, link to some stuff. So if we say. Connect to baggage bay there. Um, the next one. Connect to this baggage bay. Um, connect to that baggage bay. Come on. Click the next one. Connect to this one. Click the next one and connect to that one. So now we've got five baggage bays connected. I need to connect this one to that baggage bay. And I need to connect that one to that baggage bay. I need to switch this on. I need to switch that on. You just switch that on. Okay, so now that flooring looks way too crazy. So what I'll do, I will do the same flooring, right? Like so. Okay, but what I'll do is I'll try and edge it with something. 
So if I went and edged it with this guy, potentially just something like that, right? There we go. That that should be that should be interestingly interesting enough. Okay, so now this should be working. This is light concrete in here. I don't think we need to do go crazy with this. We will need more ramp agents to come and work here. So let's get our staffing sorted out a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> okay, I can hire a couple more of these guys. Now let's get some um, ramp agents. Uh, one, two, three, and we'll reject some of these guys. There we go, there we go, there we go. And I'm also after some passenger service agents. So let's grab one more here um, and reject a few more. Oh, I have that one and these two as well. And we'll do some training in the in the not too distant future. So there we go, lights on. Um, I should be able to schedule some flights going on now. Um, this will be, okay, so this is the A gates, right? This is A1, okay, and what we'll have is We'll still have A's, other A's in here, and this will be A claim or A bay. A bay. Okay, so we at least know what we're talking about. This is claim A1 and claim A2. So that should uh, work really well. We'll have some staff coming to work here. What I would like us to kind of do is see about what I'll do. Actually, what I'll do is I'm just going to go with a with a little a little staff room um, over here. There is a bathroom right there, so that's okay. What I'll do is I'll just go with a little staff room um, over here. This is going to be for um, bare all types, and what we'll do is we'll put um, service service technicians and ramp agents in there. I don't need, uh, janitors can be over here as well, that's okay. Passenger service agents could hang out here, it's okay. Um, contractors could hang out of here, no, that's not an issue. We don't, oh, we do, we can allow some security over here also, um, because they are pretty close by. Yeah, that's that should do the trick. Um, from there, I will get, just give them a few, well, I'll give them one uh, little desk in the corner over there, that's that's pretty good. And what we'll have is a few, um, a few of these little little sofas. Uh, actually, let's let's move the sofa. Hmm. Let's. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to I'm going to grab this sofa. Let's let's try that again. So let's move the sofa there. And another one right next to it. We'll get ourselves. Uh, well, you've got this stuff right over there, to be honest. So let's uh, let's. Oh, sorry, I'm uh, I'm all over the show. Let's go back there. Let's keep, leave a little bit of a gap there. There's a few spots for people to be sitting. Uh, what I will do is I'll just go and do a bit of my old style of just kind of um, enclosing this a little bit like that. So there's a little bit of. Uh, you can access there or there. Um, I'll put a bin in here as well. So let's grab a bin. And we'll get a bin there. And what we'll do is we'll get uh, ourselves a plant um, right over there. So there we go. So there's a little staff room in here. I will provide slightly different flooring in here. Maybe this is where we, we go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of a carpet um, environment. So we'll just do a little something like that. Carpet it a little bit. All the way up to there. There we go. So now there's a little little staff nook um, in this location. So um, at least people can kind of hang out over there. Now, this should all work. And um, that's going to be the end of the episode. So let's what we'll do is let's assign a few flights and see how this goes. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, we really have almost nothing to, to assign. Okay. Well, we will have something to assign. So at on A1... We'll have that guy arrive, and that's it. There's nothing else <clears throat> to be assigned. Okay, so that needs to needs to jump up a little bit more now. That should work. I've got nobody working here. Oh, there are some screens there. That's okay. Nobody working here just yet. We do need to sort things out. Oh, here people are. Ooh, this is an interesting one. This is a really interesting one. They're arriving, and they're coming here. That is not good. 
that is not good. So now that's going, now they're going all the way back. So that, the seating there may be a problem. What we'd rather need is some seating on this side. But anyway, they are going to go and do their check-in thing. Uh, we do need a bit of queuing. They're going upstairs, no problem. They're going to go and clear security, no problem. Oh, I need, a, I need a few more bits and pieces there. So let's just close that off. Getting through security quickly, dropping down, going to the bathroom. Oh yeah, what we'll do is this is to go down to um, A125 and then we'll have up here, we'll have the, 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 a, the other A gates for the medium flights. Excellent. Oh, you know what? We are missing some, some vehicles. Oh, crap. Um, I'll leave the vehicles parked there. So in order to make this work, I'm not seeing any bags. Oh, I haven't, I haven't switched it on. <laughs> I haven't switched it on. So in order to switch it on, I don't... Uh, baggage handling service. And open baggage claim, activate the ramp agent, turn around. So there we go. That's now switched on. Unfortunately, we've missed that. And what I need to do is procure a few vehicles. So in order to um, run baggage claim, I need um, some of these um, some of these little trucky thingies. I don't need any of the others just yet, but I need at least uh, a couple of these, I think. Uh, we've got... Actually, the large belt loader is here, but I haven't uh, I haven't actually done the belt loading thing just yet. So the small belt loader is not available, but I can already get the the, the large one. That's quite interesting. So um, let me large pull force baggage truck roofless. It's a roofless this baggage truck. Uh, so why is this one more expensive? The large pull force baggage, the, the text is a little weird, um, is a workhorse baggage truck and a solid must for any cargo baggage haulings needs. With a narrow turn radius and trailer hitch, the truck can handle up to five trailers. The open ca cabin provides the driver with a cool breeze. Narrow turn radius, this one is saying the truck can handle up to five trailers. The roof protects the driver from any weather. Um... I think we're just going to go with that one. Yep. So let's grab ourselves two of them, please. They should be arriving soon. Products have arrived straight away. These guys are exiting. No baggage claim in an action just yet. I'm assuming, but we don't have an extra flight coming in. Ah, oh, there we go. More flights now. Um, so if we wanted to, how would we do that? Let's uh, Let's start slotting them in. In here. Yeah, that's a little a little lighter. Um we could do that and that also. So now we'll see how that works. Is there anything here to be offered? No, not yet. Um I'm gonna play a few more minutes till we just see baggage handling up and running. What is this saying? So what's wrong here? No available check-in desks. Package by connection for check-in desk exists. Package handling service enabled. Um, okay, so let's have a quick look. Is this all done? I'm not sure if this is all built, so let's just double check. Let's do that. It should all be fine. Oops. So that should really be okay. What is it saying again? No available check-in desks for FA877 due to no baggage bay connection. Okay, 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 okay. So that, I need to connect these to baggage bays as well. I forgot about that. There we go. That is an interesting one. And I haven't done the queues for these either. So let's... Um, Completely forgot that you needed to connect everything up here. 
Okay, so these chicken desks will then only go to certain areas. They can't be flexible, which is a, which is a, a, a bit of a dilemma, really. Okay, proactive maintenance is done. Let's have a look, look at our R&Ds. Oh, yeah, there's a few of them that's all done. Uh, we can go and grab the belt loader. Thank you. Two, three, and we can go and grab advanced runway lighting. And we'll go one, two, three, four, four. There we go. Sort that out for us. More people arriving. Yeah, I'm a little, see, I, I don't like the fact that they come and sit down over here and then walk over there. That just doesn't make any sense. So I need to do a little bit of seating arrangements. So what we'll do is we'll um, sort ourselves out with a little bit of a queue here. And we'll try and copy that. Can we copy and paste the queue? No, it doesn't seem to want to work. We'll just have to do our queue. Each time. That gives us a little bit of spare uh, room to uh, to play around with some, some, um, some beautification pieces. But I like that. That's not too problematic, these queues here. Um, we can also not do a joint queue. That's, that's something that's, that's not feasible. Um, I want to extend that a little, one more piece. There we go. That's that's all good. And this you. There we go. Everybody's checking in. Their bag should be heading on out. Excellent. Um, I'm hoping we've got um, a little vehicle coming to collect it. I just want to make sure that that is actually working. So there is bags there. Do we need a belt loaded truck or, or would the truck alone do its thing? These guys are checking in, or I mean boarding. No one has come around for this just yet, which uh, worries me a little bit. It concerns me that we haven't seen the vehicle come here yet. Uh, baggage is connected. Okay. Do we need um, do we need the belt loader? Way to load medium aircraft. It isn't even it isn't even necessary for the small ones. Oh, maybe this was the one. So are we seeing one? Yeah, here it comes. It's gonna come and collect the bags. Oh, I'm loving it. There we go. Baggage is happening. Oh, I like it. I like it. Probably need more of these vans. Oh, excellent. Look at that in terms of the speed and around, yeah, efficiency. We're going to need it. There we go. And people are hanging around. Oh, look at them sitting around waiting for their bags. Let's see where their bags are going. Uh, A1 or A2. A2. Excellent. Get your bags and on your way, buddies. On your ways. Excellent. Guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. I will see you next time where we will continue and start thinking about what we're going to do with mediums. Um, probably need to get that money back up a little bit more. We're going to need an extra runway for the medium flights and start looking at what we're going to do in terms of air side traffic. I'm also keen to eventually move all of this into some space over here. So it's close to the runways, close to the facilities that requires these vehicles, et cetera, et cetera, those kind of things. Um, but guys, thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.